WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. So, uh, uh, this is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we've got a sea of green out there once again today. All the sectors inside the S&P 500, they're trading the upside, as are all the indices that we track. Dow's up 152 points, four tenths. S&P is up a half a percent or 24 points. About 80 points for the NASDAQ 100, half percent there. Russell's up one and a half percent, 28 point move, one and a quarter percent for the semis. That's a 45 point move. Tranny's up over 2 percent, 306 points to the upside. Gold's up a half a dollar. Silver's up 36 cents. Light to be crude is back a buck 10. Natural gas up nine pennies. 30 treasury down one point and two ticks. Printed out at 114.12. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin upper left hand corner of the ES mini. So what do we know about it? It's trade above daily, weekly profile levels out there, likely going to go target its 0.786 retracement area. That's at the 45.64 level. We take a look at the spot volatility, still below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is always a... Not always, but it does give buyers the edge out there. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is going to go target its swing point. This is a swing point from the trading session of um, July 19th. The low is at the... 16,115 level, and the high is up at 16,264. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. The 1 to 1 price projection gets you to 103.66. That needs a bullish reversal candle to identify a Gartley buy pattern. Goldilocks has got that TD9 count. What you don't see here is that price is struggling to get above its oscillator and change line. If it could do that, and we'll have to take a look at what that number is at during the show, we'd see you move up to the top of the profile at 1989. Silver is uh, trading above the top of its daily profile, may want to target its breakdown level, and that's at 23.92. Lightspeed crew has got a TD9 count bottom. It is struggling at a trend line. It is also struggling to get back inside its profile levels. If we take a look at the uh, and the key level here for Lightspeed crew, now this is the December contract. We need to flip to January here. But for December, the key level would be $80.12. That's what price would need to close above in order to suggest that it's not a counter trend move. In the case of uh, natural gas out there, natural gas does have a buy the D point bottom with price consolidating with inside its profile. The range there is 328 at resistance, 304 as support. Finally, with regard to the 30 year treasury, looked like it was a breakout, might be a breakout. In order for it to be a breakout, you need to see a second close. That would be today above 114.22. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the Trader Z Show, but if you have to start your Wednesday, Please have a wonderful one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.